All right, hey guys, this is Jason Gerald, and I want to show you how you can create a custom icon on your website. Very easy, very fast, and I'll show you how right now. Okay, guys, I'm on my jasongerald.com, and I have... I have a service called Skyview Hosting right now. It's a cloud-based service. It's very, very fast. It has all kinds of uh, chatbot services included into it, uh, apps included into it, all kinds of things. And I want to be able to highlight this with an icon. And I want to make it a cloud with a lightning bolt in it because it's cloud-based and it's lightning fast. So what I want to be able to do is put a cloud there. Now, what I've done here in Elementor, is you can scroll down and grab an icon and drop it in there just like this like what i did right there now when i hit this little bar right there i can actually go in here and choose from all of these icons now elementor has a lot of icons which is very nice however they don't have anything on with a lightning bolt into it now what i want to be able to do is have a custom icon there now fontello.com and it's Fontello, it's F-O-N-T-E-L-L-O.com, is one of the websites that I've done. And let me let me just close this down and bring it in again because I want to be able to show you how this works. Okay, when you first go into it, you're going to see Fontello like this. Okay, and as soon as it loads, which is taking line of slow, these icons, well, right now, this would be more likely at 16 like that okay they're very small so when you want to see the icons at a lot of larger size it, it's all it does is make it bigger that's all that is and so i want to be able to pick clouds okay so i'm just going to type in clouds okay cloud now i've already got these picked here so every one of these let me see if i can get rid of that yep every one of these that have a circle in it you can unpick it or you can select it to put it into your your selection and there's all kinds of them in here. And so I've got this one selected. Let me just pick that one. You can do any one of these. And basically I want one with a cloud with a lightning bolt, okay? So I've got a few of these selected. Let me pick that one. Uh, I like this one. Um, I like that one, I like that one. And let me pick these two here too, just for the heck of it. I like that too, and that. I like them all. <laughs> Why not have them all? right when you can there's nothing wrong with that and so I've got pretty much all of these selected right here so now I want to just name it and so I've got a name right here it normally would look like that and so I'm gonna call this cloud clouds okay got a spell all right so pretty cool huh I've already have these are on my site so I don't need all this and so all I got to do is download okay and it's gonna put this to Fontello and so I'm just going to hit save. Okay. Now I have a place where I want to put this. I'm going to get rid of this one because I've done this before. And I got this icon right here. I'm going to put it in this hard drive on my hard drive space. I know where this location is and where I store things. It's just how I manage stuff. Okay. So now when you're in Elementor, we're going to need to exit out of this page. And actually, let me just go to a different page here. We need to go to our plugins. Okay. In WordPress and when you're in WordPress you need to add a new plugin okay and then we need to call this plugin that's called Elementor L E L mentor uh, icons okay and oh, I got to spell it correctly I do this all the time okay that should come up ah. I'm putting a T on the end of that. I don't know why I do that. E L E M E N T O R. Jeez, I can't spell today. Icon. Okay, here we go. Finally. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're here. We want to go to custom icon for Elementor. Click on it. Okay, you want to install it. Okay, and then activate it. All right, you're pretty cool. Now we go up to Elementor. And it says custom icon okay click on there this is your steps one two three it's very simple to do so since I already have this here let me just go drag it and drop it right in there okay now if you looks here you've got 42 icons called cloud okay pretty cool huh now let me go back over to Elementor I need to refresh this page so let me just reload this page 
so that it can go find those. Um, and so as soon as it comes up, I'm going to show you how I bring that cloud icon in. Okay, let me scroll down. All right, there we go. I'm going to hit the edit button on this. This one here, I just moved it. Um, and let me just type in cloud. Okay, there it is right there. That's the one I wanted. It has the little lightning bolt on it now. Now I want to make that thing a little bit bigger maybe. Size, I don't know. Just depends on the size here. Now I've got custom icons directly on my website that makes me stand apart from all of my competition. Very, very cool. Let me tell you, if you don't have Elementor or Elementor Pro and you don't have an Astro or Pro theme, you want to check out skyviewhost.com. Why? Because skyviewhost.com includes hosting, which is lightning fast, cloud-based hosting. Use, uh, they use um, Cloudflare and Railgun to 20x speed faster, faster website. And that's very important for Google these days to have a fast website. And they, they've got all kinds of things like a chatbot service included into it. They'll have apps to make your, uh, to take your website and put it on uh, mobile as an app. And then you've got push notification that's going on too. Let me tell you, there's all kinds of services with cloud, with uh, skyviewhost.com that you don't get with these big box um, hosting companies. So just check them out, skyviewhost.com, and I guarantee you, you'll be very happy with them. All right, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Make sure you go ahead and sign up or subscribe to my channel so that you can get the next you know, awesome video just like this one. All right, have a great day. Bye.